Welcome to Suspension Max, manufacturers of patented leveling lift kits for today's late model Chevy, Ford, Dodge, and Toyota pickups. Today we're working on a 2017 Z71. We're going to put our Max Stack leveling kit, which consists of a metallic spacer for the bottom of the strut, which is easy to install, and also our patented design of the adjustable leveling lift spacers which combine right here at the top of the strut and give you lift increments of quarter inch. So you could do one and a half, one and three quarters, two inches, two and a quarter, or by installing the full kit get a full two and a half inches of lift. Maintaining your factory ride quality. Disconnect the retainers for the ABS cable at both the knuckle and the upper control arm. Carefully pry off the wire connecting loom brackets on all three strut nuts. Use an 18 millimeter wrench or ratchet wrench to speed the removal of the three outer nuts, being sure not to touch the middle nut where the strut is preloaded. Depending on the lift height desired, the upper ball joint may need to be loosened and detached from the knuckle to allow the strut to be reinserted with a greater control arm angle. For removal and reassembly of the lock nut on the upper ball joint, there's a convenient 5 mm hex Allen wrench slot to hold the stud when you reassemble it. Remove the two lower 15 millimeter hex bolts that secure the bottom strut. Remove the clips and dislodge the strut from the vehicle and tilt it up and outward being sure not to damage the CV boot with the lower part of the strut. Lubricate the studs with an anti-seize compound. Install the necessary desired shims orientating them to fit the strut stud locations. Simply reinsert the strut back into the vehicle. Reconnect with the new thin lock nuts supplied. Align the lower shock bracket. Insert the new supplied mounting bolts. Tighten to 25 foot pounds. Retighten the top studs to 25 foot pounds on all three outers and simply reconnect the wiring back in place on top of the struts. On some models with the stamped control arms, they have a jounce bumper located underneath the control arm on the front side. This can be simply pried out of place gently using a belt sander or a small touch-up grinder. Reduce its height down to 1 8 inch tall. With an assistant, pry down gently on the upper control arm to help seat the upper ball joint. Raising the lower control arm with a floor jack or a bottle jack, being sure not to raise the vehicle off the support stands or hoist, torque the upper ball joint nut to 35 foot-pounds plus an additional quarter turn. A basic wheel alignment in this truck is completed. Look at that new attitude. This Silverado, it needed that front suspension max lift. It now has a nice level profile that every Z71 truck deserves. Why have your truck running with the nose in the ground and the front spoiler rubbing the dirt when you can have a raised truck the way you want it?